Welcome back to another episode of the Cannon on the Boomer Bus channel. I'm your host, Terry, and today going to do a spoiler review of Wonder Woman 84, 1984, whichever you want to call it. This movie was bad. <laughs> this movie was bad. Now, obviously, there's, a, you know, a whole different discussion about um, HBO Max and it not going into theaters and that, that that's a whole different discussion that is more on the movie news side than the review side so we'll leave that alone but yeah just looking at the movie now here's the thing before I, before I go into it I was not a gigantic fan of the first Wonder Woman I liked it but I was not over the moon it was very much like Guardians of the Galaxy for me where I liked it, but people were going nuts over it. And I was just like, it was good. I, I, you know, it wasn't my favorite, but it wasn't, you know, it was good. And that's how I felt about Wonder Woman. People go, Patty Jenkins, Bubba Gal Gadot. And I was just like, it's good. I like it. I've watched it a couple times, but yeah, that's about it. I mean, I wasn't a huge fan like that. So it's nothing against anything, really, as far as Gal I, Gal's not a great actress, but for what she is as Wonder Woman, I like. Patty Jenkins, I think she did a good job with the movie. Um, you know, the story and just just what the movie was as far as what they wrote, it was it, it didn't have high potential for me, at least, the way they did it. So I just thought it was good, though. What they wanted to do, they did, and I thought it was good. Um, this movie... The trail, I was, I was more interested. I think the story had more potential because I didn't know, I didn't really even dig into like the villain and all that. Um, but I could tell from the commercials kind of idea of what they were talking about, this whole wish fulfillment. Obviously, Steve Trevor came back. And so this whole idea about wishes is like, okay, that's interesting. I'm, I'm curious as to how that's going to go. And then obviously you have the, uh, cheetah and so it was like you know a question of how that was gonna go and so I was more interested now once we start seeing more I honestly the stuff we saw I liked like we saw the White House scene where she's doing the, the lasso uh, whipping the bullets back we've seen her riding on the lighting lightning excuse me um, we seen a little bit of the mall scene well I didn't watch the release scene I just watched the uh, from the trailers we seen this stuff and i'm like man this looks good obviously it's a little brighter and all that uh, whatever but a little brighter this is a different aesthetic but i was like okay i am interested i am firmly interested it's 80s how are we gonna do a wonder woman slash stranger things like how are we gonna do this and what i felt after the movie was that all of that out of context was pretty cool but once you saw it in context, it didn't matter because this movie was so stupid. The story was horrible. That's where you have to start. The story was bad. And the idea, not the idea, but the execution of it with the script was horrible. I and this is my thing, and I always say, you know, this is why film is subjective because we rate it in different ways. Biggest thing for me is writing. It always is. The writing in this movie was trash. It was so trash because I I got these glimpses from the trailer and I kind of formulate the story in my head. Now, not I'm not saying I wrote the story of what I want it to be. I'm just formulating the story, kind of like in game and anything else. You saw the trailers, you piece it together and it's like, OK, I think they're going this way. Oh, they're not going this way. All right. Let's see what they do. And that's how I approach it. So I'm like, OK, they're not exactly going with what I thought they were going to do. But after the movie, if what you did was worse than what I had conceptualized, that's when it's tough for me because I'm not even a a percentage of the in the industry like you are or the resources you have and i could come up with a better story than that and it was just like okay so there's just so many logic holes i don't even know where to start this movie 
my biggest thing is is that um, I don't even remember his name. That's how trash it was. Pedro Pascal. It was Lord Maxwell Lord. He the biggest issue is that we didn't understand what he was doing. At least I didn't. Like once they introduced this stone, they were saying you could get a wish. I was like, okay, I know where that's happening. But once he was like, I wish to be the stone, I was like, whoa, I didn't even think of that. Okay, this is going to be cool. How are they going to take this? But then after that, I don't know what was going on. They didn't execute it. I thought it was going to be like this, some type of dark genie or like, I, I, you know, maybe building his company on like giving you your deepest desires and like. People, the word of mouth goes around and then he becomes rich and he's got high end clients that want to grant his wish like he was going to use that power for that. And they vaguely told you that, okay, the stone takes what's most precious from you. And so since he's the stone and he grants your wish, he takes something from you. They vaguely explain that later after it's already happening because he goes to Cairo. He says, I'm going to take your oil. He says, I don't have my oil. Okay, I'll take your security team. And they just go with him. And I'm like, wait, what? Why are they doing that? That I don't understand. And they didn't really explicitly explain that until later when she got back from Cairo and they discovered what it is. So it was like, okay, why would you do all that before we figured out? Even when he did the first wish and then the guy got arrested, who was his partner. I, I didn't, I'm like, why? What, what is going on? And then throughout, even once you know that's the way he's doing it, I'm like, what is his end game? What is he doing? Like, it, literally, what is he doing? I have no clue what his end game was. He was just, he was like, I got to grant as many wishes as possible. For what? And like, he started to get sick. So then he was like, I could take your health. Okay, cool. That makes sense. But why did you need as many wishes as possible? Especially when you ran into a bunch of people that might not have stuff that you even want. And it's like, okay, is he magically linked to every person where he knows what they have exactly? Like, because he clearly didn't know that the the um the oil baron didn't have any oil he didn't even know that and so how is it that he knows what everybody else has it did like what if you like oh i take your kidney stone or not your kidney stone i'll take your kidneys and they had bad kidneys like it didn't make any sense it was just like why are you just overloading like it it had this theme of just wanting more but in a, it was executed in a very stupid way. Like, it didn't even make sense. Like, what was the point of him just getting stuff? It didn't do anything. And the world was clearly going bad around him. And so it, it, it just turned into no motivation for the villain. And it just soured everything he did to me. Like, even from the beginning, even before... He got the stone. I'm like, what is his end game? Like, he's got this random Asian baby, which I'm, I'm, I'm going to get into that later. But he's got this random kid, and his kid is right there. I don't know who's watching him, but the kid's just sitting there. And I don't. I guess he's trying to impress him somewhat, but I I just I don't get it. Why, why wouldn't you just wish to have... Uh, all your oil. Well, I guess he knew like it took something away, but then just have your kid wish, or I guess you don't want to hurt your kid. Have your partner, have your partners like we're broke. Be like, hey, hold this and say, I wish that all of our land struck oil. Boom, and then there you go. You're done. You got money. Your 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 company's going well, and it's done. I don't get what all the other stuff was about. And so that that was the biggest issue with the movie. And Cheetah Cheetah had better motivation. Like uh but hers was so classic. 
And um, I'll repeat that. I, I'll, I'll admit I saw this on some other reviews, but I was thinking this during the movie as well. So I'm going to repeat because apparently other people saw this. I immediately thought of Electro. Soon she came in and she dropped her stuff. And she's in this science, in this lab, dropped her stuff. People didn't like her. And then Wonder Woman comes up. I immediately thought of Electro. Now, obviously, there's a bunch of other villains they've done this with. But I immediately thought of Electro. I was like, okay, this is what we're doing. And, and I guess we knew that from the trailer and everything. But you know what's, what's crazy? Is just a insecure, kind of uh, non-confident, nerdy character interacting with Wonder Woman. And Gal, who obviously is like this Amazon, not Gal, but Diana, who's this Amazon and all this confidence, but is really vulnerable because like her life's not what you think it is. I enjoyed that so much more than anything after um, Cheetah got her wish where she is now like uh, cool and sexy and all that. And also, I'm going to get to the logic later, but I enjoyed that way more. Just like, I don't know. I don't know what type of movie that would be. Maybe she's a sidekick. Maybe she's the woman in the chair for her. But I just enjoyed that much more. It reminded me a little bit of Catwoman. And I keep forgetting that little girl that she sometimes has. But it reminded me of that. And I like that. I And I don't know. That was better. And so I get it. She was protecting Maxwell because she wanted to keep her popularity and all that. So, okay, her motivation at least made sense. Maxwell's didn't make any sense. All right. Now, (laughs) the rest of it, the rest of it is just a series of logic holes. First off, you have Steve Trevor come back, but he didn't just come back. He came back in a random person's body. (laughs) <laughs> he came back in a random person's body. Okay, why? Uh, they didn't even explain that. Now, in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, eventually somebody's going to be like, Diana, what exactly did you wish for? Like the devil's in the details, the way you word it, whatever. They did not. They didn't even bring it up. They didn't even say it. Because <laughs> like, I was thinking, I, I don't know. I was thinking the way she worded it. You know, kind of like that, the old evil genie um, stories, or I guess they were talking something about a monkey paw that was real random, and I don't know how Steve Trevor knew it, but something about that where it's kind of like a trick or a lie. Like, okay, I thought it would be like that where you get your wish, but it's kind of messed up. So I was thinking they were going to tell us what she said, and it was like, oh, they twisted her words to mean this. Nope, they didn't even say it. They didn't even bring that up, not one time. <laughs> so I was just like, okay, well, why did he come in a random body? Like that, it, it literally don't make sense to me. The dude, the the um, the oil baron, he, I guess he's Egyptian. They were in Cairo. So he wished for something for his land to be reclaimed. Blah, blah. This wall Pops out of nowhere, out of the ground, comes out of nowhere. The president of the U.S. said, we wish for more nukes. Nukes popped out of nowhere, materialized. So how come when she wishes for Steve Trevor, that can't just materialize? How come that came in somebody else's body? It does not make any sense. It does not make any sense whatsoever. And so (laughs) Steve Trevor comes up in somebody else's body and I don't even know, bro. This is so confusing because I'm just like, okay, wait, did she not recognize him? But once she knew it was him, she could see him or was she just kind of lying to herself to say that she sees him? I mean, it's, it's him inside, but it doesn't look like him. Was she just lying to herself or like, what is going on? Why is he in somebody else's body? And so that didn't make any sense. Then the one that really pissed me off, the one that pissed me off is when Cheetah actually turns into an animal. She turns into an animal, right? 
not even five minutes before that, when she's talking to Maxwell on the plane, and he said he's going to do something, and she said, but you only get one wish. And so this reaffirms, even though I didn't even say it, I wouldn't even say it reaffirms. Uh, it kind of does, because at one point he was like, did I already grant your wish? Oh, blah, blah, blah. So she reaffirms that you get one wish. She's already wished to be like Diana. And on top of that, how many wishes do you really? What What's one wish? Again, like they didn't set up the rules. Like, does that have to be detailed? Because she said, I like to be sexy, cool, funny. I like to be like Diana. She said a whole bunch of stuff. Like, to me, I want to be sexy, but I wish to be sexy. That's a wish. That's there. Like, she said, sexy, cool, this, blah, blah, I want, like, she did all this. Anyway, that's her wish, right? So then she's sitting there, she's like, I'm tired of being like somebody else. I want to be my own thing. I want to be special. I want to be an apex predator. He didn't grant her a wish. She wasn't even touching him. No, they didn't even say anything. The next time we saw her, she was just randomly cheetah. <laughs> It, bro, I, I was like, I, I was like, am I watching this correctly? <laughs> they didn't even say a word. She just randomly became Cheetah. So either she got a second wish, which we don't understand how that's possible. And actually, that's the only thing I, I don't even know what else happened. And I know she said Apex Predator, but I, I don't know. How did they pick Cheetah? Like, I don't... So anyway, that that blew me. That one pissed me off because you literally contradicted what you just said. So that 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 one blew me. I was I was not happy with that. Um, and just so much, so much. I mean, Wonder Woman turning the jet invisible randomly. I mean, randomly. She just started moving her hands. And I was like, what is she a witch now? She was like, my dad hit their mascara. I always wonder how he did it. Oh, let me just turn this jet. And then she said she couldn't even do it that long. And she just turned the jet invisible. Now, the power of their mascara being hidden to make the jet invisible, I like it. Coming from Wonder Woman randomly out of nowhere didn't make any sense. Steve Trevor flying a jet that he's never seen before. Why was the jet open? Why was that there? Like I when she showed her security clearance, I thought they were going to pull a uh, um what's that thing called? A Transformers 2 or 3, I don't remember which one. I think it was 2, where they went to the Smithsonian to get an older plane or whatever. I thought she was going to get an older plane that he knew how to fly. They just go outside and it's just random just there. How does she have access to that? Please, I cuz she works for the museum. How does she have access to that? And how? why is it open? <laughs> it don't make any sense. And, and then the little Asian baby. Oh, my God. Look, obviously, you have interracial kids. Uh, you have mixed kids or whatever. Um, and apparently, somebody was saying, like, this kid is mixed with a couple different things. Um, and so is Pedro. But clearly, they show Pedro to be Mexican or some type of Latino uh, descent and the kid could be mixed but he looked just Asian he, he didn't look anything but Asian and they didn't even show the mom to say okay the mom's Asian and he had a mixed baby they didn't say nothing the kid just popped up ran and I'm not saying his kid can't be Asian I'm just saying it threw me off every time I was just like who is this Asian kid did he adopt the kid I was just I was so confused that was just absolutely random too and so yeah it, it it's a it's a lot in this movie that just did not make any sense i mean even her putting the lasso on his leg and i don't get how that ended up shining to everybody also i don't understand how him broadcasting himself is people touching him that doesn't make any sense even if it was the pic whatever they said the pixels or something 
it goes to the screen. Like if they touched the screen, maybe, but it didn't make any sense that and it was random. But either way, either way, either way, either way, the execution was horrible. But even if the execution was good, the story that they wrote just did not make any sense. And it was boring. And the opening scene was like, I was like, why? We've already seen the mascara. Why are we flashing back to something that had nothing to do with anything? I was like, okay, we're going to use this as a point to flash back to later and make a connection in the story. And they did not. They did not. Not even once. I was like, what was the point of that opening scene? Like, we already had the origin story. We already seen it. I just, I I don't get it. Because, well, I guess she didn't, oh, no, this is before Justice League and all that. But I, I don't get it. I, I, I don't get it. I, <laughs> the whole movie didn't make sense. And the effects were so bad. The CGI was bad, but then like the wire work and the way they made her look when she was running and like some stuff was cool. Like a little bit of the way she was moving in the mall was kind of cool, but nah, bro, the rest of it was terrible. It was, it, <laughs> it was just bad. I, bro, this is a bad movie. Like where so bad is funny. Like, I watched this movie laughing. I was like, this movie, I can't believe what I'm watching. And this is why I don't go crazy. Like, um, Patty Jenkins did a big movie with Monster. A lot of acclaim. She's been gone for a while. Wonder Woman was a big hit. Made a billion. I get it. Or close to a billion, I think. I get it. It was DC's first win. She got all his love and hype. And then there's some people, Patty Jenkins can do no wrong. I love Patty Jenkins. Da, da, da. And I'm just like, bro, but what has she done? Like, I, even if I loved Wonder Woman like y'all, why are we giving her all the benefit of the doubt? We got to see her prove it over time. And it's the same thing in sports, same thing with actors and any directors. Like, let, let them prove it. Because this was a dud. This was a bad, 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 bad movie. And I'm sure there's more I'm forgetting, but I'm just I'm I'm done for the moment. I I don't I might watch it again as a joke because it is pretty bad. But I I did not like it. I did not like it. Now I will say, as far as positives, <laughs> wait to the end. There the moment it was Trevor and uh, Diana being reunited, like truly, and they knew what it was. I did feel sad. I feel, and that just that is a more credence to the first movie where the impact of that loss, I still feel. And it, it felt good to see that be rectified for a moment. And so that part, I did feel good. I like a little, Oh my God, how she learned how to fly. Oh, I forgot about that. The, how she felt and how it looked when she was learning to fly, which I think she was flying cause she was flying, but she was still, lasso in the air and lightning and i don't know it, it still made it seem like we don't know if she can fly or not but anyway when she was doing that it reminded me of man of steel i loved it it felt good if i just saw that scene it would be beautiful but in context it didn't make any sense <laughs> it didn't make any sense she just randomly learned how to fly I love the way it feel. Like I would turn on that movie, jump to that scene and just watch it. It looks good. But in the context of the movie, it made no sense. How long has this woman been alive? And she just found out she just knows how to fly for no reason. Like no other Amazons can fly. No one told her she could fly. What? What <laughs> what is happening? I just, I just can't. I just can't. All right. So that's it for me. As far as a grade, I'm giving it a C. I was going to give it a C minus. That's, that's what was in my heart. There's a few good action scenes. There's, I laughed. There's some, not even at the movie. I laughed with the movie on a couple jokes. But after going over it again in my head, I got to give it a D plus. I got to give it a D plus. It was not great. 
All right, that's it for me. Go around. Oh, I'm sorry. Share it around. Get the conversation started. Go to the comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, and remember, if you heard it, here's the official canon.